Saudações, sou Leopoldina Solange Pimentel, da Faculdade de Engenharia e Agricultura da Unicet. E hoje, vamos formar uma sessão de aula prática de campo, onde iremos tratar de pulverização para combate a infestantes no campo. Vou trabalhar aqui com o engenheiro Chicanda. Ele fala inglês, mas ele irá explicar um pouco sobre o processo da mistura da, da, da cauda, vai explicar um pouco sobre o processo de, de como é que vamos fazer o combate de, das infestantes aqui no campo. O engenheiro Scanda é, é o técnico de campo também e ele vai, vai estar aqui conosco a nos ajudar com, com este processo. Sim. Yes, good afternoon. My name is Chamura Scanda from Agrozombela, the commercial production unit that supports the activities that are being taught at UNICED, Faculty of Agriculture. Here, this section we are going to park to cover uh, spraying. Spraying covers crop protection, uh, pests and diseases, crop protection, that we're talking of pests and disease control. We talk of um, weeds control, herbicides applications. So this is the most critical part of uh, crop production because this area, if one sleeps on it, you will discover that all the efforts that you have put, be it inputs, be it chemical, be it anything, will just go down the drain if you don't really take care of this area that of crop protection. So the most basic thing that we are going to we are going to talk about today, we are going to go, go, go straight into what? Into spraying. When you are spraying, there are basic things one, that one needs to know. The first thing that one needs to know, you need uh, uh, protective clothing. The person who is spraying, be it uh, using a knapsack or be using a tractor mounted boom sprayer, the person who is using the, uh, those uh, apparatus need to be, have a protective clothing. Proper protective clothing. One. And the second thing, when you go to spraying, before you use a chemical, there is uh, one golden rule that we say. Always read the label of the chemical that you are using. Can I have that, please? Every bottle of chemical, every bottle, be it every bag, has got a paper, a descriptor that will tell you about the chemical. So it is imperative, it is very important for everyone who is using these the chemicals to read thoroughly and understand. After you've read thoroughly and understood the instructions on the chemical you are also uh, encouraged to follow or to adhere strictly to the rules written so after reading what you need to do uh, you take your chemical that you want to apply like today you want to apply erase which is a systemic herbicide some the coins, other countries they call it Roundup. It kills anything that it gets in contact with. Any plant that it gets in contact with, so it's called Roundup, it kills everything. So we want to apply a raise in the field that we want to come and uh, grow potatoes in the near future. So what we will do is uh, we are going to use a boom sprayer, a tractor mounted boom sprayer, which is uh, this one, maybe you can point to camera the tractor mounted boom sprayer. We're going to use a tractor mounted boom sprayer. So before we, you mix the chemicals, we need to put on our protective clothing. That is the mask, the rubber gloves, uh, the spraying suit, and uh, the, the goggles to protect our eyes. Then we start one by one following the instruction. Before you mix the chemical, you have to fill your tank with water. Like our tank, this is our tank is about 600, it's 600 liters of water, right? 600 liters of water. Then you have to fill your tank with water, the amount of water that you want to apply, because uh, it depends with the size of the field. Let's say uh, normally the range or the requirement of water per hectare ranges from between 300 to 500 to 600 liters of water per hectare right so if you are going to spray a hectare what you need to do is uh, you put 300 liters of water in the boom spray 
first then you take your chemical as prescribed on the instruction paper if the chemical is written in the instructions are you put one liter of chemical by 500 liters of water or by 600 liters of water you put your 300 first that's liters of water first then you put your chemical you pour your chemical your one liter into the container then you fill your knapsack or your boom sprayer to the top up to 600 then you agitate by agitating i mean you mix thoroughly you mix thoroughly your chemical before you take it to the field by mixing you make sure that there is equal distribution of chemical within the water that you put in the tank then you go to the field and you start applying so this is the basic concept of spraying for safety uh, purposes uh, we are going to do a demonstration with the boom sprayer that has got water only and no chemical uh, so that uh, everyone is safe around here so as i was as i was uh, demonstrating as i was explaining that we we come to the boom sprayer we put our half tank right we half fill the tank with water then after we have filled the tank with water let's say it's 300 we come in we put in uh, we put uh, our chemical then we fill the, we fill the tank after filling the tank we mix i said yeah, can you start the tractor please so that you don't have to mix and the tank is started tractor am coming yeah the new tractor it's a mixer yes uh -huh. so let's just say we have done everything we have mixed the chemical and the chemical is there uh, what we need to do is uh, we open our jet then we start applying the chemical as the tractor will be moving so this is how we apply our chemical in the fields every day but uh, please note here is only water that we are using to demonstrate but this is how we do it when you are applying chemicals in all our fields be it uh, herbicides be it tomatoes be it cabbages be it anything we use tractor mounted boom sprayer it's very fast and it's very effective yeah we've got different types of equipment that we use besides the boom sprayer we also use a uh, mixer spray we also use a uh, uh, the mist blowers to apply the chemical. Uh, thank you.